Hey y'all, Les Little here, and today I'm going to do a book review on a book I just read called Mystic Dreamers by Roseanne Bittner. And um, it says Roseanne Bittner is one of the best writers of Native American romance, and Mystic Dreamers is one of her best efforts to date. Um, this book's very good. I'm not really into romance love stories because I can't seem to find my own love story. And, you know, it's like chick flick kind of stuff. But um, I love American history and I love Native, Native American folklore. And um, I have about as much Native American blood as Pocahontas Warren, which means not much. But I have um, just enough Cherokee on my mom's side from the Oklahoma band uh, that was sent out there by Andrew Jackson on the Trail of Tears from the Carolinas, Tennessee, and Georgia. I have just enough Cherokee to claim that I have some Native American ancestry. But anyway, this book's really good. It's a love story, but it's also... Oh, and this, this um, author, Roseanne Bittner... She's like a Native American expert, so I mean, she knows their culture and their history inside and out, and it, it's so interesting, like, um, oh, and, and it takes place in Wyoming and in the Black Hills of South Dakota, uh, and these this couple is from the Lakota tribe, but it's also, it's a lot more than a love story, it's, it's action, you know, there's warfare, there's, um, there's, um, treason and and revenge and i mean who knew they cut off the noses of, of of adulterous wives um and um and there's babies involved you know and just you know love triangles it's a very 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 good book very interesting at first i had a hard time getting into it because it took a while for me to to uh, know who all the characters were, you know. And, but once I got familiar with them all, man, I couldn't hardly put it down. It was great um, by the pool reading that I've done the last month or so. And um, let me read to you what it says on the back. Um, For over a decade, Roseanne Bittner has enchanted her readings with tales of adventure and romance in times before the white man settled the West. Now, in the tradition of Kathleen O'Neill, Gear and Michael W. Michael Gear, best selling author of Song of the Wolf and Savage Destiny Indian and the Savage Destiny Indian series, turns her hand to historical fiction with the wonderful new story of Native America sure to capture you on an adventure of love, hate, good, and evil life and death. In eighteen thirty three, star dancer as a Sa Changu Brule Su is promised to marriage to Stalking Wolf, an Oglala warrior whom she has never met. They had prearranged marriages back then. What begins a loveless union develops into a moving story of a man and woman led by powers beyond their control. Dreams, visions, and mystic experiences fill this provocative love story that launches a saga about the Lakota and their first meeting with the white man. Filled with suspense and high emotion. Book list on Mystic Dreamers. But yeah, it's a really good book. Um, and it, it's interesting. It talks about, you know, the fire sticks and the fire water. You know, where they, they were trying to get fire sticks from the white man guns. And fire water and, like, um, the main character here, he figured out really quick that fire water was evil. And like one of the Indian maidens had become addicted to fire water, so she stayed with her her abusive white man just so she could get the fire water. She couldn't leave it. And um and uh, and it talked about like when they saw the first steamship coming down the river, they thought it was a monster, like a river monster, belching black smoke, you know, and hissing and and the shrill whistle. <laughs> um, one thing I don't like about now I know. Look, we our ancestors did the Native Americans wrong. There's no doubt, but she really trashes. Um, I don't know what Roseanne Bittner's authenticity is, but she really trashes white people in this book, and she makes it. They talk about white people as if they stink and never bathe all the time, and I'm sure the frontiersmen 
didn't smell or look all that great. You know, they lived a hard scrabble life, but I bet you the Native Americans back then, all they talk about are yellow teeth. But I bet you the Native Americans didn't look or smell any better than the frontiersmen. I mean, come on now. If anything, the frontiersmen probably brought soap with them because they, they brought all kind of things the Indians had never known before. It was inter interesting to me that they introduced tobacco to these Indians because I always thought it was the other way around. But I guess, you know, tobacco is native to Eastern America. And out west, they didn't have it, so that makes sense now. Also, they talked about the white man as having uh, hairy faces and and eyes the sky the the color of the sky, which I thought that's interesting. You know, is is it true they have eyes the color of the sky? And also, um, they said the uh, the white man came from the land of the rising sun. Now nowadays, we think of the land of the rising sun as Japan. But they were meaning the east, you know, because the sun rises in the east. So to the Native Americans in Wyoming and South Dakota, like here in North Carolina where I live, that was the land of the rising sun. But anyway, I give it five stars, y'all. Oh, warning, it's R-rated. Now, most of lovemaking is in between husband and wives, but it's pretty graphic. It's, it's pretty graphic, so... Um, it's not for children to read. It's uh, I would say it's R-rated. Anyway, great read. Gripping read. If you like history, if you like Native American folklore, you will love Mystic Dreamers. So, um, and I'm going to be selling at the flea market next week for 50 cents. So y'all come see me. Dollar for hardcover, 50 cents for paperbacks. All right. Y'all have a blessed day and a great weekend. Bye.